Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I wanted to show you how I actually use display boards in my courses. So I think what you might be used to seeing is a, a single screen where information is displayed. And this is good, but that's just one of the three views that I use when I'm uh, creating an eLearning course. So let me show you the other views. So here I am in PowerPoint and you'll see um, I do have this one big display board where the, the board takes up most of the screen and that is good for displaying the information. But what I really like to do is um, for visual storytelling, I like to start with an establishing shot that shows a character or avatar um, to give some context to what's going on in the course. And then I use a transition shot um, where it kind of splits the focus between the character and the board. Um, and, then, uh, and then you can zoom in onto the board for more information. So that kind of uh, lets you go from uh, establishing shot, transition, information. So let me show you what that might look like in an actual course that I might create or in a mini course where I'm displaying some information. Um, here would be the zoomed out view and it's not the best for viewing the information. It's, it's readable but that's more just to set the scene. So you do that and then you'd move in a little bit the information uh, is easier to read but still not perfect and then you could zoom in fully so this could be the menu you can make it clickable um, and then they could read more information so you, know, you could put the those the information on these other slides um, and it doesn't just have to be text you can add anything in there you could add an image or whatever um, you just start with the board blank so this doesn't just have to be for display boards, you can also do it for screens. Um, and when I use screens, a lot of times I do that first person over the shoulder perspective. So this is Corey looking over the shoulder, he's actually looking at my website here. Um, but you could start there as the establishing shot, and then you can move in a little bit, now you can start to see more of the information, and then really zoomed in gives you a, a focus on, um, on the information. But again, um, you have that visual storytelling aspect of it. Um, now, when I here, here's another example I just wanted to show you. Um, when I'm dealing with paper or some object that could be held in the hand, I actually like to do five different views, not just three. Um, so I'll do this, um, you know, zoomed out. Maybe do the characters a little bit bigger, and then I do my zoomed in where you can put information. But then I like to add two more. Um, one where they're holding the object, and that would be more for reading, and, and then another where you could add a hand that would be writing. Um, and that could be you know, symbolizing some action being taken either by the character or by the learner. Now one of the cool things is how easy it is to, um, to edit this. So the boards start blank but um, you, know, you can add text or graphics or anything um, just right in here. And actually let me open the selection and visibility pane and you can see you know, that's the content text and the board is its own asset. You can change the character or move the character. Um, same thing, this desk could be moved around. Um, this wall is just a, you know, you can change the color on that. It's just a rectangle with some, uh, um, some gradient, radial gradient applied to it. And you have this baseboard here, it's a rectangle. And then this floor is um, one of the floor assets that I had created. Um, but it's, it's totally editable. You know, you can move all this stuff around. You can see these are really can be broken up. Um, same thing with the other templates as well. So, you know, with the screen here, uh, this over the shoulder view of Corey. You, know, you can move them around and um, you can do some cool things, uh, you know, fly-ins or whatever, but uh, this is just a graphic that I took, a screenshot. So you could put anything in here. You could put text, you could put graphics, whatever. Um, and now and all this stuff is, is editable, including the background here. And the same is true with the other template as well. So I hope you found that lesson useful and it gives you some ideas for how you might be able to um, use display boards to tell a visual story in your eating your e-learning uh, e course. Thanks so much. Have a good day.